Hey, here I am with my good friend Calvin, and I hold up the, the base bag. I just finished doing the fret job, or the fret de, de fretting job, the fret conversion on his base. Turned out really well. Check out the video. Uh, you know what, Calvin? Yeah. Something interesting I noticed. What's that? Uh, we both drive the same car. We both live on the same street. Well, he used to, moved away, but his parents still live here, so that counts. Yeah, still counts. Um, what else? Oh, we both work at the same place. Uh, what We're both musicians. Isn't that weird? Yeah. <laughs> both Anyways. need haircuts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we definitely both need a haircut. He's going to help me with something today. What is that, Calvin? Yeah. Welcome to the Super Bass Project, Part 6. Awesome. <laughs> Whenever I'm working on a project like this where I'm kind of experimenting a lot and pushing the envelope, I tend to look at every little detail and think, how can I improve this? How can I make it a little tougher? So when it came to the neck bolts, that was definitely something that I wanted to beef up and improve. What I came up with was just basically a, a bigger bolt. You compare that to your standard uh, guitar base neck screw right there. It's quite a bit bigger, a lot more surface for uh, to grab onto the neck to make a nice tight connection. Uh, the only problem was I couldn't get a countersink head in this size. What I thought of doing was, since this head is so thick on here, I uh, put this in the drill press. You can see I've filed down the, the edges here. And uh, I kind of jerry-rigged a little setup so that I could hold the file at just the right angle. So now I have a heavy duty neck bolt. Really simple to do, didn't take a lot of time, so I just have to do it to the other three now. I'm all set up here, ready to drill the bridge holes, and I've got the, the middle bar clamped in place because there's nothing holding it. I don't want this thing shifting back and forth as I'm uh, drilling those holes. A little bit of tape as well. I put the bridge in place, and it's just as a guide really to keep these holes as straight and uh, accurate as I can. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna start here. I'm gonna drill this one, move the screw over, drill the second one, move the screw over, that kind of thing. And uh, then I've gotta widen the holes on the back for these guys, and then the bridge can be mounted. So I'm gonna do the same trick that I uh, did before with the sidebar uh, mounting holes. I'm gonna gradually increase the size of this hole so that I don't get any distortion or or drifting. So I have to replace my quarter inch. Uh, bump it up and then uh, two more and then uh, it'll be the right diameter hopefully without any drifting. So I actually have this bridge temporarily installed here. These bolts are semi-tightened and uh, you can really get an idea now how secure this thing is mounted to the body because it's touching all this metal uh, that's where you get all that transfer all that all that sustain hopefully into the uh, into that bridge from the strings and then uh, the pickups will be mounted in here as well. The next job here is to uh, drill the holes for the, the neck bolts and we have to countersink those and then we can uh, get the, uh, the neck drilled as well. This is really cool. This is really starting to uh, look very intense and uh, you know all these ideas are starting to materialize. I mean it, I didn't know exactly what this was going to look like. I just thought, hey, let's do this, let's do that. This is so dramatic. Those are huge bolts in there, countersunk in this huge piece of steel that goes all the way down to the bridge. So you can just imagine the transfer of sound, how solid this thing is going to be. And I haven't even mounted the pickups yet. So I'm pretty much near the end of fitting these steel bars to the body. I've, I've rough cut, again, a little shorter to trim it off so it's almost to where it needs to be and uh, from this point in though it's a little bit of grinding but most of it is going to be hand filing to try to get it to the same contour as the body and I'm going to have to tape up around the body to help protect the body from getting any file marks on it but it'll take a while but it's going to be worth it it's going to be a nice clean look can't wait for it to, uh, to be done and I can move on to getting this thing painted I've been filing for hours on the uh, the back part here, and I got the front part pretty pretty well done. Pretty satisfied with that. A lot of uh, sanding 
get it smoothed out but uh, as far as shaping it goes pretty happy with that uh, it got a little bit of a, a little excited there with the the big file and I took out a little bit too much wood there kind of by accident I had tape all around here and I kept replacing it <laughs> you just hit it once and it would disappear but at least it would save the wood but that I went a couple of times so well that's what uh, that's what filler is for so uh, no big deal that's about the the worst spot that I had uh, other than that just just little nicks that didn't even hardly go into the, the sealer coat so that'll not be a big deal <laughs> 